All right, so welcome back to another episode of Endercraft. Uh, I have been doing a little bit of, really? Right when I start my video, the audacity of these things. The bulk of the work that I have been doing other than this beautiful structure you see right here is this road network. You can clearly see I have been doing a lot of in-between work. So pretty much just on live streams, filling in the roads. I just finished filling in whatever I had left of black dye and filling in the roads. I just need to finish this section over here. And then the roads are essentially done. There's a few spots spots that have to be fixed like I need to make a tunnel entrance right there and a tunnel entrance right below here and I'm not really 100% sure how I want to end off these sections of the highway I might just make it look like a, a, a construction site if possible or something like that or I'll just leave it blank I don't know we'll see I got a lot of work to do for all that kind of fun stuff uh, another thing I did uh in, uh in my brain I decorated the inside of this section right here so now it's actually nicely decorated decorated the walls added some custom trees in so we got like this pointy custom tree here and I also did up here as well. I added paths in that have been overtaken by grass. This is not supposed to happen, my bad. So it just comes out here and I, I don't really like the path block. So, you know, the beautiful, wonderful path block. I don't really, oh, that. I'm not much of a fan of that block. So I like this path that I've made here and I think it looks pretty good. I feel like a good addition to this wood could, wood could maybe be uh, mud blocks might actually look good. Like the nice, really dried out mud blocks, whatever the, whatever they are. I think that would look pretty good in here as well. Uh, there's another custom tree right here. It's more of a, I don't really know how to explain. I was trying to make a bulky tree, but I think this tree is more bulky than that one. But this one's definitely pointier than that one. The majority of the work has been the roads, obviously, you know, they're all filled in and nice and they look good and they look great from above the ground but the better place to take a look at them is in our beautiful map room which i have readjusted the maps and organized them a lot neater so we got like it looks so cool seeing the progress this is why i love doing this kind of thing so it's like we got our starter base when we first started so episode one pretty much and then like the next episode you got like a bunch of work i don't really know the episode line timeline here but i feel like maybe the next next season when i do this map system i should do each every time we do an episode of uh work I should label it and then that will be the episode and the map so like this would be episode one and then you know episode two episode three and then maybe episode five because you maybe I'll do something different in between there and then like episode six you know you get what I mean I think you get what I mean but yeah we got the starter house then we got the road layout set up and then the circle around the starter house and then we got the first building actually built and then we got the roads all filled in with uh, the stone so they're all properly built so I can actually f start filling in the concrete which I did start and then we finished majority majority of filling in the concrete and that's where we are right now and I'm pretty happy the next thing I want to actually do is I want to go and maybe start work on our shop in the shopping district I don't know what I'm gonna sell I thought about it and I thought maybe firework rockets because I have been working on collecting a lot of those with killing a lot of creepers and such so I feel like that might be a good choice of things to do and I also don't really have much of a plan for this episode except for that and uh yeah maybe I'll even sell golden carrots too I also thought about that as well because I you know golden carrots are superior clearly but I need to figure out some sort of a design for the building itself because I don't have a clue what to do uh, I've been just mindlessly throwing down black concrete powder for the last hour so I don't have a clue in the world what to do for the shop uh, I also have to finish this building I haven't actually truly finished it I gotta finish the bite the, 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 the I have to finish the base of the skyscraper and then I actually need to go through with the trap doors and finish that but I have to chop down a bunch of spruce wood and I don't feel like dropping down a bunch of spruce I also uh, threw down some leaves right here and I'm very sad sad because they're so desaturated and like ugly and boring looking i hate it i, I mean, yeah i don't even want to look at it it's just so boring I did a little bit of mining as well uh was in here so i got a bit more resources and you know yeah, that and i still have ah, base plant i actually gotta finally build this at some point maybe we'll do that this episode i have a, a flying machine design that i found on youtube i don't remember what the video was i was a while ago it was like a month ago that i made the flying machine i just haven't got around to building it yet so maybe we'll do that in this episode so after we get the shop set up for the shop i'm thinking well, i you know i actually don't have a clue what i'm thinking I, maybe like a modern look to the shop itself because i have been going with a pretty modern look with my base clearly i've got like the nice modern modern skyscraper weird spooky skyscraper going up and my uh my interior here it's pretty modern build lots of qb shapes like bricks and different size shapes and smoothness and modern and whatnot my tunnel in the nether is pretty modern built
built tunnel. I would consider I'm going with a pretty modern, lush theme for my main base. So I feel like maybe we'll do that for the shop as well. Uh, I just don't exactly know how I would. I think what I'm going to need is some concrete, obviously. That's just a given. Where's my stuff? Right here. I need some, probably a little bit of white concrete. And then I need to go get more sand. I'm on my last shulker box. White concrete. Not that much white concrete, but you know, white concrete. And then I'm going to need to go convert this. And that's the funnest thing in the world to do. Woohoo. I also think maybe a little bit of greenery might be cool to bring into the build so we'll bring some leaves i guess and uh fence posts wherever the hell i have some fence posts right there we'll just bring some of those maybe we can throw some little tiny trees down you know these these beautiful things like this yes oh but the leaves will look ugly in the nether Mm, I didn't think about that. Oh, well, we'll do it anyway. We'll figure something out. Um, so I guess I could use bamboo. Bamboo could look good, actually. Yes, good idea. Me. A little bit. Of, I'm I am in jail. Oh, hello. I can't. I, I physically. OK, this is a maze. What is the, what is this? Hello? Let me get over to my bamboo. I want my bamboo. OK, so this is our wonderful, beautiful shop that we got. So I think first things first, um, I think I'm going to keep the original chest. I don't really know the rules that Pixel has set for the shopping district, but I know you can use this and you can build a, a pretty much off of this or rebuild it if you want to to make it look how you want. So I have kind of an idea of what I want in my head. So maybe we do like pillars in the corner, kind of like supporting pillars in each corner corner and like the you know the four corners blah 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 and then those corners could be like a little couple blocks and we'll put like greenery like some maybe bamboo a couple trees you know kind of thing i think that would look pretty cool we'll use maybe the cyan no because we would the floor needs to be a half slab in order to prevent spawning okay so maybe carpet i can go get carpet i'll steal some wool from i'm sorry not st <clears throat> steal i will some leg will help me get um <clears throat> carpet <clears throat> <clears throat> so i guess first off let's uh demolish this wonderful build Okay, so now that now that that <laughs> dare I say monstrosity is gone, uh, we can actually start building how I think I want this built. So I was thinking something like this. We could do something fancy in the corner there. And pretty much just like these go all the way up to the wonderful roof over here. And then magically we have four beautiful pillars, and I'm actually quite liking it to be honest with you. It looks pretty good. Uh, I don't I don't know about the pillars on the outside. They're pretty boring on the outside, so I was thinking instead maybe these corners I was thinking maybe outwards hanging something but maybe not outwards hanging or i was thinking inwards but i maybe an outwards thing might look better like that and then obviously this be i don't have a clue what that would be a window i guess we could do a window for that that would look good like a nice glass window so we're gonna need to get some glass for that uh i put this craft table here but now it's right in the way we can have something like that instead then maybe just maybe uh i don't i don't know in the corners here uh, we need to adjust this block something else like that and then we can take our our end rods and maybe we'll do this up here like that just for the sake of this and then we'll take the end rods and throw them in the corner no throw them in the corners like this and then maybe we'll get copper poles and we'll do them in the middle except it won't be even unless i do that one yeah okay hold up we gotta we gotta do this one up like this because otherwise it's it's not even so now it'll be a perfect yes okay cool we'll just do that because this makes my life a lot easier and my ocd won't go crazy okay so then i need to go get copper rods i might have them over in these huge blaze over here no i won't there's no chests never mind scratch that you're crazy not me and go crazy never what? and then obviously the inside i guess this could be a row of greenery and then maybe i guess this no it's it's probably fine It'd probably look ugly but whatever and we'll grab our beautiful cyan terracotta we'll do that and then we could do a glass right there we could do like a light light sticks right there in the corners and then you know our our tree that will look absolutely luscious here oh yeah look at that luscious tree then we could throw down some bamboo like a couple bamboo stalks maybe a little like one taller on both of them and then we need like string or something to stop them from growing but i think that looks good and i don't know about the tree it's a little i don't think i like the tree idea it, it nether didn't have ugly tree colors it would look good so maybe we'll just throw another i'm gonna need more bamboo but we'll throw another bamboo in the corner just a small one i hate that it's not centered but no bamboo be bamboo but i think that will look really good okay and then we'll do that on the other side as well let me go get a couple more blocks and i'll bring it back we 
Okay, black with some blocks. So let's throw down some. Okay, let's take that glass. Uh, that. I don't like that it's connected like that at the bottom, but I don't. Uh, maybe it might look better. Just yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. I don't know if it looks better, but we'll stick with that. Uh, lightning rods, uh, the copper rods, if you will. This might look good like no, not like that. This needs to be facing like that. Yes, let's, or actually, you know, let's flip these guys around so that there. How did this work? That okay, so I need to be up there then. We need to just boop like that. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Down that, just like that. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So I also brought. I, well, I was thinking of doing this, just a nice glass bamboo, glass bamboo, glass railing like that, and I brought myself some tinted glass. Uh, I was thinking for the floor. I'm not really a hundred percent sure, but I feel like tinted glass might look good for the floor and maybe skulk for where the chests are sitting might look sick but the tinted glass for the floor with a block underneath so i guess this would be the floor if you would like to think anything otherwise if we remove this now just blah 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 we're gonna need to remove these and put skulk here as well and we remove the one more layer down for the floor and the glass will obviously make it so that we can uh it'll stay spawn proofed and we can have solid blocks instead of having to walk on half slabs so you're like weirdly lower than the chest it just isn't like that so this should be nice i'll do a white concrete row right here and same with right here or maybe white concrete and i'm thinking oh we actually you know what we might look cool do this i, I don't know that for now and then we get our end rods we just do like an end rod light in here connected by i don't really know i guess this sure i think that looks cool we'll do that over here as well okay so the floor i think we will do in i guess cyan terracotta would look good just for the simple fact of that block there it would fit pretty well for the base so we'll just do cyan terracotta and it's because it's blocking my hand why is my axe on the floor give me my axe and then we also gotta swap these out we'll just do gray con terra gray concrete for these i think might be the best choice and we get our i don't know if i have enough tinted glass but we should have close to enough the tinted glass will obviously block the light from those oh i don't have an even remotely close to enough okay but it'll block the light from those we're gonna need to get more tinted glass that's okay i can get more of that it's fine what's happening why are you not throwing out my i'm gonna finish this side over here real quick and i'll be right back and i'm gonna go get more tinted glass as well Zoom. Zoom. Okay, so I finished the floor. Um, I didn't have enough tinted glass, or I just don't have enough tinted glass right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do for now is just throw some black glass in here. Because black glass is what I was going to originally do. But I was like, the tinted glass might add just like a little purpley color. And I don't know, I just think it would look cool. So that's why I wanted to do tinted glass. Wow. But for now, this is, uh, this. I think this looks pretty good with the alternating floor. Kind of adds a little texture to it. I also started doing a little bit of like a, I guess if you will, a glass door. Or just a glass frame around these edges so it doesn't just abruptly end flat and it kind of helps with this not looking so flat you know as i said um i don't know what to do for the roof i think i'll just probably fill it up with skulk honestly i think that would look the best i just don't know if i don't think this is enough skulk i think i need a bit more i also ran out of white concrete i was four blocks off of having enough white concrete to finish the uh roof part here so that's annoying but i think this is pretty much the gist of the shop i might change these chests out for barrels i think barrels might look a little nicer honestly i'll make some barrels here real quick if we just yoink these fellers we just go like this and it gives me more options for actually selling stuff it gives me more containers and then maybe we'll just alternate the barrels direction so that they're facing either way like that i think that looks pretty neat to me and then could um put some obviously this i don't know if barrels can be spawned on top of but uh, if they can we'll just do like a slab row across the top we can throw an item frame up here and it's just with the item that's being sold and then i guess the price on the item frame and you know i could do that all the way down the row and like this could be golden carrots for like a diamond per stack or something like that two diamonds per stack i guess i don't know we'll figure out the prices oh i just tapped that we'll figure out the prices later uh i just need to go and grab more skulk because i'm about 90 percent sure i'm gonna run out uh, i brought carpets just in case i needed to spawn proof stuff because i think i'm not really sure but i think mobs can spawn on moss so i think i'll go get moss carpet for those and i 
I don't think I have any more spawn spots on here, but I think I should be good to not have to put carpet down, which is nice. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of uh, adjustments, I guess. I'm kind of adding a couple of small details here and there. I kind of threw down the chest here and the so craft table or I don't actually know if that was in the last clip but it might not have been but if it wasn't now you know haha -ha. I also threw down these in the corners just adds a little bit more light I think it looks cool I finished the uh, I changed out the slabs actually for the trapdoors I think the trapdoors look much better so I'm gonna stick with the trapdoors I finished putting out all of the item frames and I'm actually going to start selling golden carrots and shulker boxes so we got two diamonds per box I think I'm just gonna do two, di uh, two diamonds for everything because it's just easiest so we got like uncrafted shulker boxes just because <laughs> why not uh, and then we got uh, golden carrots, which are also diamonds per stack, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so with the shop done, now we can go ahead and do the last thing that I want to do in this episode, and that is build the beautiful flying machine that I want to put in here so we can actually automatically harvest the bamboo and then eventually send it up into the smelting array so that we can have fully automated smelting system. And I don't have to worry about manually harvesting this and throwing bamboo in there because it's getting annoying. I have gotten the stuff together that I need for the flying machine and all of its associated stuff. Well, maybe not all the associated stuff. I still need to get like a daylight sensor and a bunch of other junk to put together for this. But I guess starting, we're going to go down here. I'm going to need a little bit more space. Yeah, just to, just like maybe a couple, like a block or two more of space. I'm going to dig a little bit more space here. Throw down the torch. It's on the floor for now. We need to change this row of blocks right here for obsidian and then remove these blocks because they are probably going to well we're going to need to adjust some of these dig this down one as well because then they will get stuck to the flying machine but this needs to be obsidian because it'll help stop uh bamboo from getting flung up in here because i know bamboo when the flying machine comes through bamboo will get flung up into this area which means we will lose some bamboo so i'm thinking we're probably just gonna have to dig this down one block and then throw up like a hopper section down here another hopper minecart just just to pick up the bamboo that gets flung, you know, because, you know, slime blocks, when they hit blocks, they, they fling blocks. So that's that's really fun. Yes. So the flying machine is 10 blocks wide. The biggest version of the flying machine. How many blocks wide is this farm? One, two, three, four, 14 blocks wide. OK, so we're going to need to shrink down the uh the feller just a small little tiny bit but that's okay we can do that pretty easily so we're gonna put two of the flying machines in here because that's just the easiest thing i could do i would say so we're gonna throw down a block here for just the edge protection against the edge and uh no nope, not there there one two three four five boop boop okay so that, yeah there'll be two exactly two flying machines that will fit like essentially perfectly in here so that's good these are going to be two blocks back just the way the machines work and then we're going to have a connection coming off of this like that and I'll, I'll build one over here first i'm in shambles don't worry about it uh i don't know what i'm doing am i dumb yes uh yes i am <clears throat> so the flying machine the arrow that comes out is after this indent so this indent right there goes like that pretty much and then we have an observer right here we're gonna move our little shulker box and then we have another observer oh what am i doing wait what and i can see now that this is going to be a little bit longer on one side but that is okay because i'm not moving the, the thing over and that should be a functional flying machine i say should in a very light manner because i don't have a clue i just need to get through here please scoot bamboo important individual coming through ow oh my god i gotta be careful doing that holy main block line right here and then obviously the flying machine will fly in here and it is one two three four i need to build this wall back like two ish blocks Okay, so these flying machines are two-way flying machines, so we need to make a system to bounce the flying machine back over there. So the reason I made the mark for the center line right here is because then I can figure out where the other center line is. That sound. Right here, why did I choose obsidian? I'm like scaffolding with obsidian. I'm just that guy. So the flying machine will come in here. Uh, it will be a block right here. I'm just going to do a dimple outline so i can see the size and make sure i have this perfectly lined oh i'm like the best builder on planet earth we need to build a system like so so that we can build a redstone tor redstone not torch that there and this is the bounce back system just like so when the when the guy comes over here there's a redstone block that i didn't place but it goes on top of the flying machine like that and it sends a signal through that updates that observer over there uh i will go quickly 
activate this wonderful flying machine and we will do a quick test run to make sure that I built it properly. Fingers crossed that it works. So we need, uh oh, I did it backwards. Wait, wait, hold the test, hold it. Quite important things. Move it, bamboo. I got places to be. It needs to be moved over one block. Okay, now it should be good. Let's do a quick little run through here. Quick testy testy. Uh, I just need to update this beautiful guy here without giving it a block. So we'll just do this and this. Well, that's a good start. What has Plinko done wrong? <laughs> what have I done wrong? Uh -huh. There we go. Look at it go. It's working. It's working. Let's go. And it fits perfectly in the wall. Oh. Okay, and we're gonna hope that this comes back. Ooh, and we only realistically need to do the uh, bamboo fling machishtum. Machishtum, that's definitely the word I was going for over there. It didn't come back. Oh no. Oh, it's on the wrong side. You know, that will definitely do it. Ugh. Okay, this should send the piston back. No, it did. Huh. It broke. Okay, now it will send it back when I finish hooking up this with all my overtaken inventory with bamboo. There it goes. Yay, it works. Woo, first try. Oh, my inventory, man. Holy boy. Yay, we have an automatic flying machine flying through the farm. I love it. And it'll go over there and it'll stay over there because we don't have the same system as that. So then if we just come over here again and we uh, update our beautiful this guy and at this time it will actually go over there and come back it worked let's go yeah see if, as you can see the bamboo kind of gets flung in here in this we don't want that i don't really care we're losing like 23 bamboo give or take i mean it's also getting stuck on there i'm not interested in fixing that problem i guess i could uh, just do another row of uh, obsidian up top it'll sweep it off i guess that could be easiest solution to that problem but we'll lose like a couple bamboo here and there mainly over there so we're gonna fix that and make like a hopper platform over there so that it catches all the bamboo and we don't lose any so that'll work i just need to go ahead and mirror this on the other side so I'm going to do that. That one didn't come back. This video game. All right. It should function this time. Huh? They're both going successfully. They're going. Both are moving. Oh, this looks beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that great? Except this one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause everything. I didn't put a piece of it up. Uh, it's in the wrong spot. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my God. Everything just about went sideways real fast. Oh my. <laughs> I completely forgot to set up this whole system. Oh, oops, daisies. Professional. Professional. Don't worry about it. I meant to do that. You don't like talk about oh that was almost bad okay yeah i see a lot of bamboo being lost in here but that will okay i thought the bamboo machine just stopped i was like Ugh. now it should function properly i mean hopefully we'll do one real quick test to make sure that this works and then uh we should be good to finish the rest of well it's finished i guess it doesn't need anything else done to it and that looks great finally actually having a, a like a proper flying machine to make my farm automated we actually need to do the automation part next and i'll do that after we make sure that this functions properly this one didn't go back why in the hell did you oh you know why i didn't go back i'm stupid i forgot one piece of redstone okay we're gonna have to do another test oh my carrots okay good <laughs> They're my carrots oh you know what i need to be down here i'm gonna die right now like this is ridiculous whoa leg hello oh now they're out of sync that's just annoying okay so it worked okay cool oh thank god everything was going really quickly sideways there for a minute i was, was getting a little worried let's see how much bamboo we lost and this is only bamboo we lost on like a second run so like a run with like barely any bamboo grown so 14 so i guess probably like a stack of bamboo will get lost every single time but that's okay that will be fine so the next thing i need to do is i need to uh, actually hook this up to a daylight sensor and figure out where I'm going to wire that up onto up here so that it goes off during uh, the day. So in the morning and at night, it will trigger this system and go off. So, or at least once per day. I'm not really sure how daylight sensors work. I completely forgot. It's been a while since I've used one, but I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so now we got to do the daylight sensor and I need to figure... It doesn't really matter where it triggers from. So I think what might be the best course of actions to... Actions? The best course of action to do is to come up here and kind of just determine where the best place to put one would be. I don't know. I can't really put one in very many. There's not good spots I can put one. I guess technically I can put one here and just remember that it's here. So we'll shove the daylight sensor here. We'll do a a tower, like a piston tower. So this will update the piston um, and then it'll send a... I got to dig out 
blocks in a, like a order like this pretty much otherwise the slime will stick to all those blocks if we just dig out a pillar pretty much like this the whole way down this should be good enough for everything i think that would trigger it and obviously the slime block would be connected to this we can only go 12 one two three oh that's like oh it's not it's kind of annoying where that is though to be honest with you uh i will figure this out here real quick can't really remove these can i oh i can remove that and that okay so it should all be hooked up now properly i've dug down a nice pillar all the way from the top so we got just this beautiful uh slime block piston tower that just brings the power signal all the way down and then it goes down there's this little thingy my doodad that i forget what's called because my brain shut off just now uh that just increases the, the length of the signal pulse extender that's what it's called the pulse extender that increases the length of the signal so that these guys aren't triggered by some sort of weird one tick but i don't think that would matter anyway because it'd be a full signal no strength regardless but that's okay um this should function now so if i i'm gonna go turn the daylight sensor and trigger it so that it's off so that we did we could actually test this when it goes nighttime it triggered okay let's see did it function properly what just happened i don't know if anything just worked so it triggered something but nothing is going why to be this uh, oh, okay, so it just grabbed the... Did it gra I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to wait till nighttime and we'll see if this works. So I'm going to wait for night and we'll see if this functions. It just triggered, but I do not see... Let's, let's do this. It's happening. You know why? Oh, it is going. Okay. But did it... I don't think it triggered the farm though. Oh boy, I got to fix something. I got to check something. Oh, this is why we test these things. I don't see a signal coming through. Oh, what? Hold up, hold up. I got to figure out why this isn't working now. Well, that triggered and that pushed that down did it or no i don't think that pushed that down at all okay i think what i did here is it's supposed to be triggering but i think i had it one block too short like i don't i think maybe the piston wasn't connected properly we just need one more slime block and it should be fixed i i have not a clue but i hope it's fixed if I just put one more slime block on here, we'll test it just to double check that it's properly working like that. But this should be triggered right now, I think. So that'll trigger nothing. If I, oh, right, because uh, redstone's stupid in this video game. Um, uh, I need to boost the signal. Okay, well, I should have saw that this wasn't... Oh, my God. It's too late at night for these kind of things. There we go. It's functioning so far. This bamboo grew really tall. Damn. So I think I need to fill in these blocks with white concrete here. That way the bamboo doesn't get stuck on top of the obsidian like uh, that one there did. Uh, I've noticed a little bit of bamboo getting stuck on top of the obsidian. It'll also help get the bamboo, like sweep the bamboo off the top of the redstone blocks. Like that bamboo and that bamboo. Obviously we're going to get bamboo stuck right here on this section of the, the flying machine. But there's really not much I can do about that. So it's kind of just going to be there. And I guess it's just deal with it. Oh, well, I guess whatever. So it functioned. It worked. I'm okay. I'm so happy. Thank God. <laughs> There's been a lot of issues with this since I started making it. Holy my Lord. But it, it works and I'm glad it does. I'm just going to put this here. So I just got to make sure not to block this. Uh, otherwise, this function the system won't function properly so that will be good uh this farm will go off every time that daylight sensor triggers at night and when the daylight sensor untriggers during the morning so it, it goes off at once at night and then one time in the morning kind of dealio so that's cool i'm happy we're all happy i hope you're happy so that'll do it for this episode i hope you enjoyed if you did do hit the like button subscribe if you're new let me know what you thought of this video i decided to keep a lot more of my thought process in with building this time and i wondering just curious if you guys like that more or do you like more of the shorter videos but they're very much more explanationally and explanationally they're explained a little less and they're just like straight to the point uh let me know what you guys think of that uh i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one